And it looks like that they went to. Three, yes, two, two. Yeah. One, yeah. Go. Just about what we expected. Yeah, it's a nice big stage. A lot of them, they're going to be able to control a good amount of area. So I think it's. Oh. Okay, oh, okay. He yeah. yeah, he made it back with the C4, but. Yeah, he started himself off in disadvantage. He's still in the corner. Trying to get mm -hmm. out of the corner from that mistake. It's kind of funny because, you know, Snake's got grenades, but Link's got his own in the remote bombs, so they're both kind of going them back and forth. Yeah, and also, I, I'm i seeing the glimmering is blowing up the grenades, so that could be a problem for Snake. Oh, that's, yeah, that's very good. Close up so you don't go past, and the C4 is nearby on the right side of that line. <laughs> now it's on the platform, the right platform. So you should do a good job staying away from there. I didn't want to get hit by that. I was gonna say I didn't know if the um, the C force hit you if you're below the platform, but it doesn't look like they um, do. I, I don't I'm think they sure do. Sure, it does on like, on tall characters. Yeah, on tall characters it hits under the platform. With Link, I'm like 90% sure it does. I think he low profiled it with the dash attack though. Oh, that's you're right. That's probably wrong. Yeah. Lots of C force coming up from Snake. Yeah, right now, um, Link's doing a great job just keeping Snake in the corner. He's really been in the corner the entire game with... He hasn't had stage control, and that's really important when playing Snake. Mm -hmm. Cause you want to be able to, you know, place down all the uh, your traps with the grenades and C4s, but... Not just able to do that. Not to mention, having, uh, grenades go off the ledge yeah. really good. Being in the middle, cause you can have them roll off the edge or ledge trap and... Ooh, good bomb. Lots, yeah. lots of so let's see if um, Link can pull away with some extra percent before losing his stock, or if uh, Snake can bring it back. Kind of, they're kind of just going at it, really. Yeah. And, like all of the deck guys are just going back and forth. I mean, he's doing a great job holding on to his stock, getting a good amount of damage. <laughs> He has, yeah, he really didn't let uh, Snake get in until then, but he did, he did yeah. make, get some Snake's percent classic. off. Snake's classic, killed with up throw. It was only at like 110, it wasn't down throw until up throw and throw. Yeah, he just read a roll in from, because he was panicking in the corner, and he just up throw to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Snake not getting that stage control right now, he, wa yeah. he really wants it. For sure. Remote bomb and boomerang should be a really big problem for Snake. Definitely. Yeah, just send him away. Link's gonna be able to get the center again. They're they're going through it. Yeah, we've been talking about stage control a lot. It's just super key in these matchups. They're two really good zoners, and if you deny one of them zoning, then they become a much worse character. Because mm -hmm. then all their advantages just kind of go away. Also, that was really good yeah. on Snake before. Like, I know he he got killed by the up smash, but he did the down. What was it? Down throw, but he had the grenade right at Link's feet, so he got, was either gonna force Link to get hit by the grenade or roll back into him, but he didn't, wasn't able to follow up on it. I think the problem right now is that Snake isn't getting much mileage off grenades. Mm -hmm. Because of you know boomerang kind of boomerang on the way the air and back blows up the grenades, so boomerang is really invalidating grenades, and he'd be doing a lot better if grenades had more mileage and if Link really had to like respect grenades as much as other characters. Yeah, that's probably the main issue right here. Just gotta get in a little bit. I know that's hard to do, but mm -hmm. the grenades really aren't doing it. He's just constantly throwing around boomerangs and bombs to blow them up. Link making really good percent, probably looking to close out this game right here. If anything. Oh, the C4 got him though. I didn't even see that one. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> Camera's pants so far back that you couldn't see it. Yeah. Alright, right now Snake's controlling the right side of the stage with grenades and C4. Mm -hmm. He's got C4 under the right platform so that Link can't run into the bottom. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this matchup is really just standing on opposite sides of the stage and throwing stuff at each other. Yeah, really, just a glorified snowball start fight with explosions. <laughs> yeah, a lot more dangerous snowball fight. Yeah. 
Well, Link, Link is looking to get some kind of option out of his projectiles. And, and I said, oh. That's gonna be it. And I was gonna say, Snake, uh, not Snake, Link was waiting for the for the right moment. He, was, he wasn't rushing in, he was just waiting with projectiles, trying to get an opening with that. Yeah, that was really good. He played really patient and paid off. Mm -hmm. So do you think uh, they're gonna switch up characters? Because I know the grenades probably weren't working out for Snake, uh, mm -hmm. or Nickler, rather. I don't know too much about Nick Roy, but I've only seen him play Snake, and you know, he's a solid Snake, and I definitely think it's possible for him to win, too. <laughs> did um, you realize what you just did? <laughs> what'd I do? Solid Snake? You just said you had a really uh, solid yeah. Snake. <laughs> he does have a solid Snake. <laughs> he do um, indeed. Oh, I think they're going back to PS2. Oh yeah, did Nick Roy switch uh, stages or no? I don't think he did. Uh, no. Yeah, I think they're going back to PS2. Honestly, yeah, it's a pretty neutral pick for both of these characters. It definitely is, because it's small enough to where they can get it if they need to, but it's not like Town and City where there's just a huge open area. Yeah, and I, I think the reason they're not going, like, Town especially, is Link would have a good advantage. Link kills off the side, like, mm -hmm. a lot more than Snake. Snake would be killing with up a lot and C4 a lot, which both send up. So I think uh, Nickeroy probably ban Town or doesn't want to go Town much of that. That makes sense, yeah, because he wants a stage with low with a low blast on the top, right? So yeah. he would definitely not want to go town the city considering how big that stage is. Yeah, and also um, Snake on FD is very good, and town you know turns into FD, so you don't want that either. Not to not to mention with the with the whole FD problem, that just lets uh, Link's boomer and kind of go wild on the ground and get rid of all the C4s, at least with. Uh, PS2 here and other stages with platforms, the boomerang can bounce off the platforms and not hit the grenades as often, but they still hit. <laughs> wow, Remote Bomb is putting in work. Definitely. You kind of just send that thing in and just explode it. Even if you yeah. don't activate it, it just goes off with a couple of hits. Yeah. And it also takes out the grenades in the area, too. Yeah. Like with uh, Snake C4, you can avoid it because he just has to put it on the ground, but Link's, can, Link's Bomb can really just go anywhere. Yeah, especially the diversity, of, or I mean the utility of being able to like move it however you want. You can throw it however you want, you can hit it within there to move it across the stage. But actually, during during that whole uh, interaction, uh, Snake made that percent. He was losing at first, but then he got some really good damage on Link. So yeah. basically even, looking to get a kill. To make a comeback to Snake, you really just gotta win neutral a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's once you get hard that, to come back a lot, but it's possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not too good of a position for Snake. He doesn't have his double jump. And there he goes. Yeah, that arrow took out yeah, his double jump, yeah. so he kind of panicked. Ho hopefully, he can probably kill Link here if he wants to stay in the game. Otherwise, yeah, the, the percent's going to start getting away from him. He's already at 40%. Yeah, if I were Link, I'd be looking up for up there right now, or C4. Mm -hmm. C4 oh, wow, is in the C4. middle of the stage, I believe, right in the football. That's yeah. what's going to kill him. Ooh, barely. <laughs> this has kind of just been the neutral for the whole game, them just throwing projectiles at each other. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Remote Bomb is actually doing a really good job. Because mm -hmm. not to mention, it kind of goes through the grenades, but the yeah. grenade explosion, kind of, the explosion of the bomb also explodes the grenades. Yeah. You know, Snake has really good ledge trapping, but throughout this match, I haven't really seen much of, like, up smash at ledge or grenades at ledge. Mm -hmm. I think he could utilize ledge trapping more to keep Link in disadvantage longer. He probably could, he just hasn't had too many opportunities for it. Yeah. I guess. I mean, yeah, he hasn't really had a chance to do it. Oh. That up still takes it. Yeah. yeah. Link's in a really good position here. I was going to say, um, Nicola was doing it earlier with, uh, he was holding Link's bomb so he can keep throwing it. It didn't do yeah. too much because, you know, he has to throw, uh, grenade projectiles, but it kind of 
That's not for good, because he didn't have a way to throw his bomb. Yeah, it's a good way of breaking um, Lynch neutral flow, just by not letting him use one of his good options in neutral. Mm -hmm. Big explosion there. Nick or, or I don't know. I've been going back and forth and naming it, but uh, oh, the bomb recovery into oh. the C4 on the platform. That was kind of nuts. That was. <laughs> I was gonna say he was probably looking to close out that stock really soon because he's already at 60 on his last. Yeah. I mean, to come back from this, he just. He has to win neutral a couple more times than Link, and it's definitely possible, but it's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. It's definitely hard because he doesn't have his C4 as much as uh, he would with other characters, because, yeah, Nikita leaves him wide open, getting hit by the bomb, and now Link has neutral. Ooh, I saw him waiting there. He waited for that air dodge, but he missed it. But yeah. He's doing a really <laughs> I, good I job playing Nick Ward is kind of closing the percents a little bit. Oh, air dodge into the up air there. Honestly, this is anyone's game at this point. Honestly, yeah, whoever wins like the next neutral really will get the upper advantage and probably get the kill. Even though the uh, grenades aren't exploding on Link, that chip damage from hitting uh, hitting with the grenades still adds up over time. Yeah, it does three percent every time it hits, so it's a good amount. And they're both basically in kill range if one of them gets the win on the neutral. No grenade on. Uh, I was gonna say no C4, but he just put on white flag. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nick Ward tried to get the grab to get to get the win. It didn't work out. I think they grabbed point. Oh. Oh. Okay, there it is. Oh, that was actually bad DI. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you would have lived that way. Yeah, snake's up, so you want to DI a little bit down and behind snake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know, because he went up pretty fast. I feel like that would have killed yeah, him. Yeah, I think that probably would have killed either way. Now, do they go to uh, PS2 a third time? <laughs> um, Honestly, I think that would be a good choice. Because, you know, it's been pretty even the whole time, honestly. Except game one. Link pulled ahead a little bit, but mm -hmm. it was pretty even the whole time. Yeah, no, game two was a lot closer than game one, not to mention that both of them kind of learned each other's strategies in the sense where they could find openings, so uh, they yeah. could do that. Like, you could see Link the whole entire time just on the platform pulling your remote ball and blowing it up. Snake mm -hmm. trying to get chip damage with grenades. So you can kind of see their game plan coming together as we go through the set. And I think they might have switched to PS2, or yeah, I think... yeah, yeah, from PS2. I mean, yeah. yeah, um, it's probably because Nickelodeon probably banned um, FD and Kalos, so. Mm -hmm. But this was one of the stages that we were thinking that they might be able to go in. Uh, Link kind yeah. of has an advantage because he kills from the side, right? Yeah, Link Link has an advantage over Snake on this stage. Oh, that, that was a big rack of damage. Boomerang and the bomb hit him. They're doing a really good job not overcommitting. When you overcommit, especially like against these characters, you can really take a lot of damage for being impatient, just running in like without a game plan. Yeah, because they, they kind of go off that. They wait for the opportunity to hit, get a lot of percent, and then once that happens, they can just kind of run through you. But they're both playing very patient, yeah. But this game's a lot uh, closer quarters than the other two PS2 games have been. In those games, it was mostly uh, one of them on the platform, the other one in the corner. Yeah. Uh, however, this one, they're playing a lot closer to each other. I think the platform, it's, I think it's because Snake isn't able to hide under the platforms from Bomb as well, or from Boomerang as well, so Snake kind of has to approach a little bit. Mm -hmm. How if you're that close and you don't get hit by the uh, Link's remote bomb, then you can just kind of ignore it a little bit. Yeah. Good carry. But man, it's hard to get out of the corner with a remote bomb like that. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Ooh. the arrow snipe got him. Good snipe. Very good. Now Link's gonna try and uh, rack up at least some percent on Snake to get the upper hand. Yeah, I mean, the goal is just honestly stay away from him. Don't give him the chance to throw out any moves that'll kill you. Uh huh. I feel like Snake, I know, uh, it's kind of like waiting for a good moment to come in. Up, up tilt. Oh, he tried to get oh. the read, read left. He went the other way. Dash attack kills him. I was gonna say, uh, Snake's gotta, gotta get in there for a kill. We can't keep playing uh, far away, otherwise, he's gonna get hit by Link remote bombs and other stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he, all of his kill moves are close range except C4, but C4 is on the side that he's on. It's kinda mm -hmm. hard to sneak in a C4 on the other side of the stage when it's being patrolled by Link. I was gonna say earlier that was good air dodge reach from um, Link to get that F smash. That did some good damage. Yeah. He's, he's doing a really good job just being patient and waiting out air dodges or panic and disadvantage. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I think even if he teched that, he still would have died. Yeah, no, there wasn't enough time to get away from this. But... Yeah, that's just unfortunate. I feel like he could have jumped out of hits. Like, I don't know if he was in hit stun for that. Yeah, round, maybe. But I feel like he could have jumped out of that. Unless the only he didn't have to second. Mm -hmm. Still better than losing a second. Yeah. Oh, oh, Link's also gonna take this stun here. At 85. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. I think he tried to go for a bomb recovery, but yeah. messed it up because he did have bomb down. He dropped the bomb in the air dodge. Yeah, I think that was problem. <laughs> hey, what a freaking S you can don't do it. <laughs> kind of playing space farther apart, we're gonna be going to ladder. I, I mean the transition, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I cannot do words, but yeah, uh, Link's taking advantage here, getting a lot of percent on Snake here. Yeah, I mean, he's just doing an amazing job keeping him in the corner the entire time. He just can't get out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as we've been saying, you know, Remote Bomb's been doing really great work in this matchup. Yep. It's, yeah, honestly, it's doing really good. Mm -hmm. This is the matchup. Remote yeah. Bomb. The bomb's just sitting there straight in the yeah, bottom now. Yeah, you have to be careful there. Mm. He didn't want to blow up. It's kind of a scare tactic in a sense where Snake doesn't want to be next to it when it blows up. Because yeah. otherwise it's going to set up for a kill. And that's going to be the sad. I mean, right now, he, he's just jumping over all the projectiles he's throwing at. Him. Oh, the bomb clips him. Yeah, ba barely. Oh. oh that if that Nair had finished, that would have been it. Yeah. I feel like any attack really is going to take out Snake, however, if he can get um, like an up tilt kill here, if he can get in, that would be really ideal, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, Snake needs to rack up a little more damage and then go in for a kill. Mm -hmm. Like he's basically got it, but I don't think there's, an, there's a way to get in without, you know, risking getting hit yourself. And yeah, it's Snake's easier said than done. These, these boomerangs and bombs are giving him a really hard time. No, and Link's not not trying to go in for a kill. He's just throwing out uh, the remote bomb, trying to get yeah, one hit. And I think the bomb's gonna kill. Him. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. The bomb he, does he kill. He didn't explode it right away. He, he yeah. waited to explode it. Yeah, that was just a really good job. Just playing patient, waiting for.